what are the signs of raised intracranial pressure? Anytime you see a patient in the office or in the emergency room complaining of headaches, early morning headaches, nausea, vomiting, a papilledema, that's a sign of raised intracranial pressure. What do you do if a patient has a raised ICP? If he's in the ER after a trauma, do a CT scan without a contrast. If it is in the physician's office, you order an MRI. So you can take this understanding and apply it. Tomorrow they may say a young female comes to the physician's office. She's obese. She has pseudo tumor cerebri. She has headache, nausea, vomiting, papilledema. What do you do? You order an MRI. In a pediatric question, they may say that there is a child that mom was trying to put in the back seat of the car. The child slipped. He has headache, nausea, vomiting, papilledema. What do you do? You do a CT scan without a contrast. Tomorrow they may then again they can say that it is a 50 year old man with a glioblastoma. He is having headaches, nausea, vomiting, papilledema. What do you do? You order an MRI. Then they can again say there is a patient who, have, who was in a motor vehicle accident or a whiplash injury or a bike accident. When he's rushed to the ER, he has again headaches, nausea, vomiting, papilledema. What do you do? You can do a CT scan without a contrast. So anytime you see the signs of raised intracranial pressure, the next step is to visualize the brain. That's the most important step.